Oh, okay, no, this isn't it. I saw a red carpet, and I was very excited for a second. Because that usually means something nice, in my mind. But, no. Alright, let's rest a bit. Or, yeah, let's save, actually. And then heal. And then carry on. Hmm. Well, this room actually looks quite unusual. I mean, it, we've seen a lot of these kind of horseshoe-shaped rooms, but I don't think we've seen one with this many exits before. How's my sword doing? It's taking a long time to kill things. Used. So we should take it to a, a smith when we get the chance. Okay. Oh no, this is just a dead end. Alright. False alarm. There's no secret door in this corner. Yeah. So... Oh, shoot. Well... Dang. It looks like I have found myself once again outside the world. I'd better load again. Well, yeah. We know that there's nothing this way now, so I guess we'll just not go that way. And try to go south. Oh, the, uh, we need to uh, need to heal ourselves a bit. Uh, heal and rest until fully healed this time. That way we're full in all of the bars. Lots of skill increases. Hmm. Yeah, we have been in neither of these directions before, except maybe this one, because the hallway connects to a place we've been. Yeah. Let's try going this way. It's south. Okay. That is a dead end. Maybe there's an entrance lower down. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think I'll try south first. I could go north, but I'm probably going to be bugged by this vague recollection that the target may be south. If I don't go south now. So let's just rule that out. Yeah. Okay, this is a. Uh, which way is the elevator gonna go? I see. Yeah, because the elevator was in the ground, so I thought it might go down. Uh. That's weird. I guess they just kept this pit here so <laughs> people like me would fall in and have to fight some rats. Now if I could get out, that'd be good. Hmm. There we go. Let's bring the elevator back and try one of these levels. There's at least one floor above. Probably others. Yeah, I can't really see all the way to the top. But let's see where it takes us. Yeah, so it's just one way to go. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure this is it. 
so yeah there are these blue bars which look a lot like lasers I don't think they're supposed to be blue I think that's probably a bug some texturing glitch um, yeah I need to find a way to move them and to do that I probably need to go through this uh, go on to the second level here that I skipped on my way up okay so it's just a lever and there doesn't seem to be anything else so let's see if that did anything Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, but it looks like we only have one direction to go, so... Yeah, this is a bit of a puzzle. And I don't recall the solution, so this may take... Uh, a little bit of time to fully explore and find our target. Just gonna save. Because as always, I don't trust Daggerfall. Can I open this somehow? What does this do? It doesn't do anything here. This probably pulls down another elevator, because there's no elevator in the floor. So yeah, I'm assuming we're supposed to pull this lever. But I don't actually know if it's going to help us or hinder us in some way. Just going to have to take a look and see what happened. There's another lever there. Let's, uh... Another floor? Well, let's just do one thing at a time and and do things that way, because otherwise we're not going to have any idea of what levers did what. Okay. So these are both open now. So that's what that lever did. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. Um, and let's just jump across here. See what's up here first. Yet another lever. Let's pull it. Okay, I think we can just fall down here. This looks like a very short elevator, relatively speaking. And yes, this is probably the set of bars that we need to open so we get through to that door with the tapestries. We need to find a way of opening it. So what did this lever do then? Anything? Okay, so it opened that door on the far side. But it looks like it closed maybe everything else? There's one door that we can't really see from here, and it's the one right over there. So maybe we can find another way to that entrance. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. So this, I think, is it. We saw this spider on the way down in the other shaft. Here we are. I hope the elevator's coming up. No, it is coming down. <sighs> okay, so we just have to wait for it on its way up again. Yeah, it's a shame you can't really control these elevators directly in this game. It probably would have been very hard to do back in the day. But it would have made this, uh, this whole elevator waiting thing... Um, well, it would have eliminated the waiting and made this, uh, this a bit more pleasant. Okay, so this is close too. 
So if we go back down, pull that other lever again, will it open those two doors again? It's not this one. It's uh, the one down this hallway. And we'll go all the way back up to the top. Yeah, I don't know what that lever does yet. Maybe that's the next one I should try. If this doesn't do anything. Or if it doesn't help us. Yep. So it opened both these, and we can get over here now. And I think we do want to call the elevator this time. Looks like a long way down. Hmm. Yeah. So I wonder I wonder if these bar these uh these bars, these doors work on a kind of on off switch uh, system, so if you pull a lever it switches them or toggles their state. I think that's what's going on. There we go. A ghost. With no treasure, of course. There's a skull here. Doesn't do anything. Oh. And a lever. And if we go back up, maybe that will have opened the path that we need to go to. Or go through. I'm really hoping it did. Because we haven't seen any other uh, switches to toggle. Yeah. Well, we haven't really tried this door either. Okay. Let's go back down. All the way down. Because there is a uh, set of bars at the very bottom that we may have triggered. Maybe. We haven't found, uh... Yeah, it did open this. Okay. So then what does this do? Uh, let's pull this elevator to us. And see where this takes us. Hopefully it'll take us up to the room and we can see. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, okay. Complicated dungeon. I like it. Um, actually, quite a lot. It's just a lot of waiting. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, this isn't exactly how I thought the puzzle would be solved. I thought we'd have to open this door, but, you know, this works. Alright, through the door with the tapestries. And save. Oh, hourglass, bottle, and a goblet. Can't take them, though. But they look fancy. It is a lich. <sighs> oh dear. I can already feel the death count going up. I think that was 25. Probably go up another 10 by the end of this session. Alright, let's, uh, let's go a little bit more carefully. And start a bit closer so we don't have to walk all the way back down. Oh, okay, I opened my spell book at the right time. Let's heal. Uh, heal. Okay, that worked. And now we have a man in the top left corner. So I'm guessing that's 
an indication that we have captured the prince and the scarab. And uh, we can go back to the King of Worms now. Excellent. The lich doesn't seem to have too much on it. And this room seems, I think, empty. There's no secret door here, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, I think we're done here.